Gary Leinker pinned a cryptic tweet seemingly directed at the Tories just two weeks after he sparked a crisis at the BBC when he slammed the Conservatives' migrant policy. Gary Leinker took to Twitter today and wrote about folk who constantly tell fibs less than an hour after Boris Johnson's legal defense over Partygate was published. The former prime minister insisted in his written evidence to the inquiry that his denials over lockdown parties in No. 10 were made, in good faith, and based on what he, honestly, knew at the time. Taking to Twitter today. The Match of the Day host, 62, appeared to take a swipe at Mr. Johnson. He penned, When folk constantly tell fibs, it's really difficult to know when they're telling the truth. I imagine it's even a challenge for themselves. Gary did not say who he was referring to, but many interpreted the post as an attack on Mr. Johnson. Some other users posted comical responses related to football. including whether the verdict by the Cross-Party Privileges Committee on whether Mr. Johnson lied to Parliament might go to VAR. Gary criticized Rishi Sunak's asylum policy, but returned to air following a boycott by top-on-air talent at the broadcaster. He was taken off air after comparing the language used to launch a new government asylum seeker policy with 1930s Germany in a tweet. The sports pundit returned to his BBC slot on Saturday after his brief suspension. Last week the BBC's Director General Tim Davey claimed that Leinker had agreed to abide by the corporation's editorial rules until a review of its social media guidelines was completed. Mr Davey later said he recognised, grey areas, in the broadcaster's social media guidance could cause, confusion. He has since announced an independent review of the guidelines, particularly for freelancers. Meanwhile, a 52-page dossier of the XPM's defense to claims he lied to Parliament with his party gate denials has been published. Mr. Johnson signaled he is prepared to take on the Privileges Committee tomorrow in a hearing to decide whether or not he misled MPs over party gate. He said he looks forward very much to tomorrow's four-hour session. The former prime minister added, I believe that the evidence conclusively shows that I did not knowingly or recklessly mislead parliament. The committee has produced not a shred of evidence to show that I have. 